Hey guys, did you know that I have a Patreon where you can support me and plus get awesome rewards? Or if you're thinking to yourself, but Julian, I want even more bang for my buck while still supporting you, you can pop over to my Redbubble and check out my awesome store with new designs appearing regularly. But for now, enjoy the video you're about to watch. Hey guys, it's me, Julian Greystoke. I'm wearing my strong female character shirt today, and I'm here to talk to you about another writing subject, so let's just get right to it. This is a big question. This is a big question that I've been asked occasionally and decided to make a video about it even though I feel like I'm probably gonna get some flack, but here we go. Do you have to be a reader to be a writer? Now here's the thing. I always like to remind people that I am not the god of writing. That what you get with my writing videos is just my experience, my opinion, and the things I have learned along my way. So I never like to come down hard and say this is the way it has to be done. However, in this video I am going to come down on a pretty hard line here and say that yes, you do need to be a reader to be a writer. I'm sorry this might be hard to hear and if you really really strongly disagree you don't have to keep watching this video, but if, if you're interested in my reasoning here, stick around. To be a writer you do kind of need to read least a little bit. You don't have to even be a voracious reader, but you need to read. The next question that naturally comes from it is, do you have to read the genre that you write? No. People will insist that you must. You must read the genre that you write or you cannot write it. And I will come down on and say that no, you don't have to. But it can be incredibly helpful to do so. Reading the genre that you write can help you identify overused tropes, to keep an eye on the market and what's popular in your genre. I'm noticing the trends of what readers are into and what other writers are doing, so you can decide whether you want to follow those trends or buck those trends. Now here's another common one that we hear all the time. Do you have to read outside your genre? No. But again, it can be helpful. It can be really helpful to check out different styles, see what else is out there. It might even help you be inspired to write outside of your original genre. And of course, just for your reading in general, you might pick up a new genre to love. You don't know if you're going to like something unless you give it a fair chance. Now of course, just reading and uh, sort of assimilating via osmosis, things that will help you with your writing is already a step ahead. And I would recommend that if you're really not a reader but you want to be a writer, you at least read within your genre. However, if you want to have even more success with reading, helping you with your writing, then you need to learn to read critically. Now I know what you're thinking, critically? Like a critic? That means I have to hate everything now. No, that's not what it means. It just means to read and understand. You're looking at what other authors are doing and how they're doing it. This is really going to hone your skill. I won't lie, most of my writing chops come from observing lots of other writers when I read. Now of course this doesn't mean copying them, but this definitely means being able to pick apart what they're doing, find what you like and you don't like, and possibly incorporate it into your own writing toolbox. I have a video about that, link below in the doobly-doo. And I'm going to end with an argument that I have sometimes heard when I tell people that they kind of need to be a reader to be a writer. They make the excuse that, oh well, I don't want to taint my own style by reading somebody else's thing. That's really not going to happen. I mean, there are definitely a lot of writers out there who are influenced by other authors' styles. That is definitely a thing that happens. And if you keep your reading very limited, then that's more likely to happen. But the more you branch out and read different authors and read critically and check out what they are doing, the better your work is going to be because of it. I'm not saying you have to turn into a booktube master who reads 12 books a month and is just like a reading machine, but if you want to write, you really should make the effort to become more of a reader. Those are my thoughts on that. Comment below and let me know if you have any thoughts on it yourself. As you know, I post new videos Mondays and Fridays. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo, so go check those out. And if you liked what you saw here, but you wish it was higher quality, remember that you can support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. All donations on Patreon are slowly accumulating to me getting better equipment, so consider donating there.
okay? All of the thumbs ups, I guess. I will see all of you again next time with whatever it is I'm doing next time. Happy reading out there, writers. Bye! What's up, everybody? It is shout out time. Time to shout out to my very first patron, Kim. And if you want to be cool like Kim, become a patron over on Patreon.